Okay, this is uh, example five here. Uh, this climber is falling at 9.4 meters per second. Uh, their downward motion is arrested in a distance of uh, 5.3 meters, right? Uh, what is the tension in the rope if the acceleration is uniform? And of course, the reason why we're saying the acceleration is uniform is that a real rope would actually act like a spring and it would accelerate them, I guess, a bit more at the very end of its stretch, but let's not go there. Let's just assume this is a, a uniform acceleration that we can use we can solve using SUVOD, right? So step one is, if there's a SUVOD problem, let's just solve it, right? So here's this climber, right? You know, they ah, poor climber. Got their little harness on. The rope is like that, right? And uh, it stops them in a distance of 5.3 meters, right? And um, they're at the instant that they hit this rope, they're moving downward at 9.4 meters per second, right? I think that's a downward velocity. I think this is also a downward displacement, right? Um, and so we're just going to set this up. Our initial velocity is negative 9.4. Final is zero, right? We gotta say equals there. Here you go. Um, the displacement is down 5.3, right? Now, you know, if we don't survive the, the game here, uh, I know for sure that this is going to be an upward acceleration. If you stop moving down, it's an upward acceleration. The tension will be more than their weight. Um, but let's just go ahead and look at this. I think the thing to use here is uh, v squared, is u squared plus 2as. Right, so zero squared is negative 9.4 squared plus two times a, which is what we want to find out, times negative 5.3. And this is, of course, why it's going to be what positive number, because uh, if, we, if we stick this on the other side, it's going to be positive, and this will be positive when we square it, right? Um, okay, so if I, if I solve that, um, if I solve that, <laughs> calculator just ran out of batteries. Okay, here we go. Calculator number two. You are the relief calculator. Okay, so uh, 9.4 squared uh, divided by 2 divided by 5.3. And this acceleration is positive 8.3358. Now we have two sig figs. If we carry even four sig figs, we're in good shape. Okay, so it's a positive acceleration. Okay, so that's sort of the first part, right? We've solved for this and we've gotten the acceleration, right? And we're just gonna take that over here and solve a, um, a regular old uh, problem with forces, right? Okay, so let's see if we can, uh... oh. <laughs> uh, okay, don't do that. Uh, pointer options. Let's do the uh, pen color. Let's go to red. Okay, now we're a red colored pen. Okay, so now our forces acting on this thing are, of course, the uh, upward force. Right, that's going to be the tension in the rope. There still is a force downward. Seems like we've, you know, done enough work here, but we really haven't. Um, so the force downward is going to be the weight, and weight is um, m mg, right? So that's going to be 62 kilograms, right, times 9.81 newtons per kilogram, right? So 62 times 9.81 is 608.22 newtons, and that's going to be the downward force, right? Uh, the tension is going to be the upward force, and now, we, now we're going to just solve F equals MA, right? All the forces are the unknown tension, which is up, that's the tension in the rope, right? Minus their weight, so 608.22, right? And then that equals 62 times, and then we use our acceleration here, right? So that's gonna be positive 8.3358. Okay, so that, Okay. 
And now I've got that, so I'm gonna go 62 times this, 62 times that acceleration, right? And then uh, I add on the 608.22, right? And I get 1125.04, right? Now we only have two sig figs, so I guess we have to say that the tension is about 11, oops, that it's about 1,100 newtons, right? Ta-da. Yay.